Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Cloud Armor. And to understand the service, we need to know what a distributed denial of service attack is a DDoS attack, so a malicious attempt to disrupt normal traffic by flooding a website with large amounts of fake traffic. So you got an attacker on one side and a victim on the other side, and the internet sits between them. So what the attacker does is they use a bunch of remote machines and they issue commands to those machines and tell those machines, hey, go produce a bunch of uh, spoofed data and send it over the internet and uh, it's gonna go towards the victim. Now, the great thing is if when you're using a cloud service provider, you're within their network, they generally have built-in DDoS protection. Now, what's unusual with GCP is they don't really call that out very clearly, um, but I'm sure that they have some layer of built-in DDoS protection. Uh, but um, the service that provides you know, uh, more robust DDoS protection is gonna be Cloud Armor. Now, Cloud Armor, is a bit different from other uh, cloud service providers in that it does DDoS protection and it's also a web application firewall. These are usually separated as two different services and other providers. GCP decided to roll it into one. Some of its feature sets are IP-based and geo-based access controls, support for hybrid and multi-cloud deployments, adaptive protection, detect and mitigate attacks against your cloud load balancing workloads, predefined WAF rules to mitigate OWASP's top 10 risks, named IP lists, rich rule language for web application firewalls, visibility and monitoring, and Cloud Armor has two tiers. You got the standard, so pay as you go, and Manage Protection Plus starting at $3,000 a month. Pretty standard to see those two tier prices for DDoS protection. Not that standard to see these two tools rolled into one, but that's just how they do it, okay?